Maranatha, my PBC family and friends, Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. So today our word is going to come from the prophet Jonah, Jonah chapter 4. And more so, I love this, what I love about this story, and, 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 and then also what the, Jonah's response is here. You know the story of Jonah. Jonah is sent to Tarshish to, to tell the city to repent, that God's going to judge them, and uh, he avoids doing so. And, uh, and now, there's a lot of historical context to that, and there's a lot of things like that. I mean, but basically, it's know that, long story short, Jonah just, that the people of Tarshish would have been a, a people that they, they hated. And so he just didn't want to even do this. And uh, so he fled from doing that. He, he refused to do what the Lord was calling him to do. Why? Well, we get to the end of the story. So we know the story as the story goes. That he goes to the city. He, he, he preaches the gospel. And that's where he preaches repentance and not the gospel. But he preaches the, the repentance and that the people repent. And uh, even up into the king, all the land repented. And so Jonah is angry about this, and so it displeased, as a matter of fact, this is where we pick it up at, in Jonah chapter 4, verse 1, it says, uh, but it displeased Jonah, it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was very angry. Now, Jonah was mad that he, that God had, that these people had repented, and God had withheld his judgment. Now, I know that sounds strange, but I wonder how many of us are, kind of get the same way. When we feel like maybe God's not judging the way we think he should judge, or God's not dealing with things the way we think he should deal with things, we have a tendency to get angry or frustrated, uh, not only with uh, the people, but obviously even with God, although we may not put it in that terms. But I loved Jonah's prayer, Jonah's prayer here. Uh, because of what he has to say about this. And I want to read this to you, and then we'll, we'll kind of come back and talk a little more about this. It says, in verse 2 in particular, so verse 1 said, But it pleased Jonah exceedingly, and he was very angry. And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray thee, O Lord, was not my, this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish. I see. Nineveh. I think I said earlier that, he, that the Lord wanted to go to, to Tarshish. He wanted to go to Nineveh. He fled to Tarshish. I apologize, guys. I think that early mornings. My brain's not 100% yet, guys. I apologize. Anyway, it says, For I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repentest thee of the evil. Wow. Here's a prophet of the Lord. When asked to go to Nineveh to share... God to tell the people to repent refuses to do so and as a matter of fact goes in the exact opposite direction of what God wants him to do uh, to Tarshish and and then we know the whole story in the sea and stuff like this but then he gets there he shares and the people repent a prophet of the Lord this made him angry because he wanted these people to be judged he thought these people deserved his form of justice his form of judgment instead of what God was going to do and so he says, and I, so I, I fled. I didn't even want to go there because I knew you. I know your character, Lord. I know you well enough to know, and I love these, these attributes, that thou art a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repentance thee of the evil. He knows what God's like. But how many of us know what God's like, and yet we refuse to let God be God? We think keep getting angry and, and upset because God's not doing things our way. Because he's not doing things that we, the way we think that they should be done. Or in the timing in which we think they should be done. We, we, we're we refusing to let God be God. We are, in our own hearts, though we may not physically be fleeing, we're fleeing to Tarshish. Because we don't let God be God. If he doesn't do it the way we think it should be done, then it must be what? God's overwhelmed? God does, God can't deal with this? God doesn't know what to do? So we know the character of our God. There's no reason to be angry. As a matter of fact, as it goes on there, it says, Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me, for it's better for me to die than to live. This is Jonah still. I am so angry about this time. I'm so angry about what you're doing, God, that I would rather you take me, kill me, than let me live through this time. But I've called you. This is what I hear the Lord saying. But I've called you, Jonah, for this time. I've called you to this time and to this place. Now, would you do me a favor and quit being so selfish and get out there and do what I've asked you to do? So the Lord says to him in response, Then said the Lord, Dost thou well to be angry? Rhetorical question, of course. Are you doing well to be angry at God during this time? To be angry about the situations? To be so... Uh, upset about it that you're like I just wish I could die I just wish God would take my life I just or should you maybe just maybe 
Learn from the prophet Jonah. Get up. Go where he's calling you to go. Quit being moping around because our God, as he says here, and as Jonah knows, is what? Gracious, merciful, slow to anger, great kindness, repentance of the evil. Because our God desires all men to be saved and to come in the knowledge of Jesus Christ, including ourselves. And so maybe you sit here and maybe you watch these things and you never really quite made that decision to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, to put your full faith in him. And no longer in yourself, no longer in your heritage, no longer in the church, no longer in, you know, the government or anything like that. Putting your full faith in him. And don't be angry about what God's choosing to do during this time. Because God is in control. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.